So here's something you probably weren't expecting to be asked today, but I'm going to ask it anyway because I feel like we're there, wherever there is. Be honest with me. Do you have a favourite pair of pants? Underwear. That's what I'm talking about. Undergarments. Do you have a favourite pair? Do you have the kind of pair that when you get up in the morning, you open your uh, underwear drawer and you see them there neatly folded, you think, yes, yes. Today is going to be an awesome day. Or is it just me? Probably just me, isn't it? So if I feel a little bit more confident today, if I seem a little bit more at ease, it's because today I'm wearing my number one pants. Today I am Superman. <laughs> um, so enough nonsense about underpants, but I'm generally curious to know if it's just me or not. So today's oh before i get to today's tip so oh let's do a little bit of a tease so today's tip is two words that will help you write more compelling copy and sell more stuff we'll get to it in a second though because there's another two words i need to say to a couple of folks and those words are thank you um so i record this and i upload it into anchor which creates a podcast and sends it out to all the players and stuff like that for you I didn't realise in the Anchor app you can actually receive and send voice messages to creators and stuff like that. So I got a couple of messages this week from Gabe and Nicole who were saying nice things and spurring me on, which is really nice to hear. And it, I don't do this enough. I don't, I don't send messages to people who are trying to do good things. And I should do. As a creator, I should know better. So... I've got some homework for you to do in a bit about the marketing, but another piece of homework is, whenever you see somebody trying to do good in the world, you don't have to send them money or buy them things or anything like that. You don't have to go out the way or you know make any grand gesture, but just, just recognize them and just send them a quick message, say, I see what you're doing, you're awesome, keep on doing it. Because often, often a lot of times, that kind of stuff makes a difference. So it's something I'm appalling at. And I, I will get better at it. But uh, yes, thanks to Gabe and Nicole for their messages this week. I appreciate that. Um, and if you want to send me one, you can do on Anchor. Um, so today's thing is going to help you sell more stuff. So one of the problems that a lot of people have with marketing is that, and I've said this before, when you get too close to your thing, you kind of lose perspective on why the customer should care about something. You know, how does this relate to them? And the two words I want you to think about, and I'll show you how to the, use them in a second, are so what? Or if you want to get a little bit more aggressive and have a few more words, why should I give a toss about this? If you ask yourself those and imagine the customer in mind, it'll keep you on track. Now, the trouble is when you're writing, so let's take a sales page, for example. When you're writing a sales page, there's enough to keep track of without having this so what thing in your mind. So here's what I suggest you do. If you're putting t together a sales page where you've got a complicated document that's got a load of different things, you're balancing features and benefits and testimonials and proof and credibility and you've got all these things flying around the place, get all that down and then have what I call a so what pass. So you get everything down, you get all the sequences and the structures and your sections ordered, you get it all down and then just have a pass through the document from top to bottom Constantly asking yourself, why should the cu customer care about this? So what? It's fully downloadable program. So what? You get done for your templates. So what? Just keep asking yourself those questions and make it clear to the customer why they should give a damn about this. Why it will make their life better, easier, harder, faster, whatever your customer wants to be. So the thing about this is every feature that your product or service has, has a so what thing, has a benefit to it. And not only that, every feature has a potential downside. So if you, ex so let's, let's take like your course is a digital course. It's fully downloadable. If you just had on your sales page that it's a 40 module digital course, some people might look at that and immediately appreciate that, oh, it's online. That's great. That means I can access it anywhere in the world. I could be on holiday and if I've got an hour free, I could just log in and access it. That's great. Or somebody else might be thinking, well, it's online. I'd, oh, yeah, a bit of a faff to get online. I want something I can hold. I want something I sit down. 
So there's advantages and disadvantages for every single feature. Do not assume that your customers can appreciate the advantages of the features. Spell it out for them. So that's what I want you to do today. Think about why they should care about this. Do the so what test for every single feature that you put on a sales page or on a blog or on a post. If you want them to appreciate something, actually show them why they should appreciate it. It's a online course so you can access it anywhere in the world even while you're queuing for shopping outdoors you can just click a button and you'll make faster progress because it's always there there are more opportunities for you to learn this course just because of the fact it's online you'll complete it quicker that's a so what let's say you've got done for you templates well or let's say you've got a pdf guide workbook why should they care about that? Well, if you've got a PDF guide, it's all the information in one place at a glance. You don't have to root through the course to find that little nugget of information you're after or when you want to refresh your memory or revise something. You can just turn to the PDF guide and know it's there instantly in one glance. It's quicker, it's easier, it makes your life easier. So that's your homework for today. That's your homework. We're going to start giving homework for these. I want you to have a look at your sales page, or if you haven't got a product yet, have a look at a competitor's sales page, uh, something with a similar offering to what you've got. Have a look at a feature, and here's the other thing. Multiple things will have multiple benefits as well. So, a fact that something is online makes it easier to access, means you can access it from any machine. Access it at any time from anywhere you've got Wi-Fi. You can learn it quicker, you can learn it faster. You can, even if your house burns down, you'll still be able to log in somewhere and get this course. So think about that. So that's your homework for today. Have a look at your own features for your own product or service and think about what's in it for the customer. So what? Why should they give a toss about this? And brainstorm different ways. And if you haven't got your own product, look at a competitor's and do the same for them. Because what you'll end up with is, why should they care about this? This is something that whether you have a product or not, you'll be able to add to it later and you'll bear it in mind when creating your own stuff because you've got something that really uh, strikes a chord with your customer. So it's not about how many modules your DVD course is, it's about creating something they can listen to wherever they are in the world and make faster progress with. That's the key thing, that's the key benefit, that's the so what. And if you've got that, you can use that to design your own thing and make it awesome. So, two pieces of homework. One, do you have a favorite piece of underwear? Two, apply the so what thing to at least one of the features on your website, one of the features to your service, and you'll immediately, instantly, get a better to connection to your customer. They'll realize that you get them, and they're more likely to buy your stuff. So, hope that's useful, and uh, I'll see you soon.